In this video, I'll show you the best steps to take in order to prepare to tag mice in the ear for identification purposes. The ear tagging tools can be found in this drawer. These tools include the tags, forceps, the pliers to apply the tags, and scissors to take the ear snips. You can see these tools here. It is useful to begin by knowing how many mice you have to tag that day. Always choose the tags from previously used batches. This helps to make sure that the mice are in order as you put them into your mouse organization sheet. In this case, for today's use, I will select the next four tags in the sequence that I have previously used in order to tag these mice. When these tags come from the manufacturer, they often have residual oils from the production of the tags. For that reason, I make sure to wash the tags in order to prevent any potential issues with the mice. Historically, there have been ear infections caused by unclean tags. At first, I rinse them with soap, as you can see. It is important to make sure that they are thoroughly washed and rinsed in order to ensure that there is no residual oil that could cause ear infections in these mice. After the tags have been thoroughly rinsed, I put them on a paper towel in order to ensure that they dry briefly, prior to rinsing them again in 70% ethanol solution. This is a final measure in order to ensure that the opportunity for ear infection is minimized prior to putting these tags into the mouse's ears. The ethanol rinse is similar in being very thorough in order to make sure that everything is clear and clean and ready to go. After the tags have been rinsed, I once again place them on a paper towel to dry prior to organizing them in order to make the whole ear tagging process more efficient. I order them by tag number and you'll see in a moment how I prepare the tubes and the organization sheet in order to simplify the entire process. Here you can see that I've got the organization sheet. This matches the Transnetics sequencing plates and it is used in order to help to clarify exactly what's going on when I am organizing the plates. You can see that there is place for the plate number for transgenetics genotyping as well as the date. And I always put the strain at the top of the sheet as well in order to make sure that there's no confusion as to which type of mouse this is. The sheets can currently be found on this shelf above our black PCR machine. As you can see here, I'm writing the strain that this mice are, as well as the number of each tag in descending order from the top of the column to the bottom, as that is how the tissue is placed into the transgenetics sample genotyping plates. When I have finished writing down the number, I put the corresponding tag next to that number in order to make the tagging process easier when I sit down with the mice. I also move on to preparing the tubes if I'm going to be doing an in-lab extraction. Otherwise, I would use the transgenetics genotyping plate. But in order to prepare the tubes, I put the matching number of tubes into the tube holder, and then I write the corresponding tag number on the top of each tube. Once I have written the important information on the top of the tube, I make sure to also write it on the side of the tube, as sometimes during the PCR process, depending on the tube type that you have, the information can wear off the top. You can see here that I have included the tag number, as well as on top, I have included the B, which means back cross, in order for me to know that this is the back cross strain of mice, just as an extra reminder. I've also written E below the tag number, meaning that these are prepared for DNA extraction 
I write those, num those letters in order to indicate which step in the PCR process I am in. Sometimes I will write P for PCR or R for restriction digest below the tag number in order to know which step each tube is in in the PCR process. You can see here that since I've finished preparing the tubes and the tags, I am now ready to move to the table and start tagging the mice.